So 19th of July was actually a day to remember because everyone was glued to their TV sets. What I mean everyone, I mean literally everyone. If you hear of 19th of July and you still don't know what I'm talking about, you definitely should know about Big Brother Ninja. Big Brother Ninja reality show, the lockdown, you know, premiered on the 19th of July and everyone was glued to their TV sets. Uh, me personally, I was sitting right here in my room and I had like very high expectations, you know, about this year's Big Brother. And for one, Big Brother has not fallen my hands yet, you know, mad uh, houses, mad tax, mad everything. The house is mad. When I mean mad, I know what I'm talking about. Welcome, guys. I am your host, Kali. You know how we do it right here on the show. If this is your first time of watching my video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And of course, turn on the notification bell just by the side there. Just in case I drop any video, you will be the first to know. All right, guys. Welcome to Friends with Kali. I am your homegirl, Kali. Welcome. <laughs> brother Ninja season 5 started and a lot of people have already been shipping and faving <laughs> the housemates like uh, personally uh, I would say I have like one or two people uh, one or two housemates I like on uh, like personally and uh, there are some housemates that I think uh, I don't know I don't think if I'm in that house I don't think you know but let's just keep it on low <laughs> So let's just keep it on the law and just dive right into today's topic. So today we'll be talking about my opinion of what I think of the housemates. I'm going to take that again. That's why I said my opinion. I know a lot of people are going to come for me after they watch this video. That's why I said my own opinion no, because I don't want problems with them shippers and faves. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's dive right into it. Right now we have 20 housemates. Uh, last week we were expecting uh, an eviction, but there was no eviction. Uh, this week I think it's going to be an eviction because Big Brother just brought in a little bit of spice into the game. <laughs> I, I remember when Ebuka made that announcement, I personally I was like, ah, God, though. that means 18 housemates will be on eviction, excluding the head of house and the deputy head of house. Just in case you don't know about the twist that Big Brother has introduced. So Big Brother has introduced the house, uh, head of house rather, and also introduced the deputy head of house. Now the head of house and the deputy head of house is under immunity if chosen then every other housemate is up for eviction. So right now, Lucy is the head of house and Prince is the deputy head of house. So basically, Lucy and Prince are under immunity, so therefore cannot be put up for eviction. So just giving you that little tea, let's dive right into the main cocoa of this video. So this is my personal opinion of the housemates and what I think about them. Hey guys, welcome back to the show and if you're just joining us, this is Frenzy with Kali. Before we went on the break, we we're talking about Big Brother Ninja season 5, the lockdown episode. You understand me? Yeah. And I was going to talk about the housemates and what I think about them. Now I know I say everything, when I mean everything, give you details of what I think about these housemates. <laughs> this video is going to be as long as hell <laughs> trust me but just to keep it simple and short i'm just going to say one or two things about what i think about this housemate so let's step onto the first housemate which is my favorite housemates you know her name is dorothy dorothy dora for short as a call her in the house uh what i like about dora is first of all she represents the breast gang <laughs> she represents the breast gang <laughs> And two, she's just like me. I think uh, she she's this very jovial, very jovial person. And when she sees something she likes, she appreciates. Um, when she sees something she likes, she appreciates it. And when she uh, needs someone to, if she, when she needs an explanation, she goes straight for the jugular and asks for that explanation. I've seen with her conversations with uh, Ozo, you know, pertaining the uh, three-way thing that he has with uh, her and Nengi. 
yes so the next housemate i'll be talking about is definitely ozor now ozor i don't know what i think about ozor the first time i met him i was like okay or the, the, rather the first time i saw him on tv on big brother uh, i was like okay who's this guy oh, he's cute and everything and we, he came into the house and i'm like okay this one is definitely there to cause confusion yes that's what he's gonna do and that's what he has been doing but one thing i don't like about ozo is i feel like he's very uh he's very complicated when i mean complicated he, he doesn't know what he wants he he he's just he's just hoping around and in my own opinion i think he's gonna lose either nengi or uh or dorothy doing that because if you're not a straightforward person they're looking at you like you're not a straightforward person you understand in as much as i feel like nengi uh she too safe. Well, when we get to Nengi's part, <laughs> I'll talk about Nengi. All right, the next uh, housemate I'll be talking about will obviously be the head of house, the recent head of house, Lucy. Now, the first time uh, I watched Lucy, I really didn't get her vibe. I didn't understand the kind of person she was. I didn't understand the kind of uh, uh, strategy she brought into the house. But uh, being the head of house now, I think that she actually knows what she's doing right in as much as she, she needs like a direction one or two uh direction as you can see uh, there was a time in the diary room when she asked big brother for help you know coordinating people because she actually thought i think there's a conversation uh, she was having with katrina when she said she actually thought she, she would have fought with almost everybody when she became her uh, head of house so kudos to lucy on that then the next housemaid i'll be talking about is prince now i don't in as much as Prince is, where was, let me say was, Prince was uh, Mr. Universe one time like that, Mr. Nigeria, right? I think, yes, he's, he was a Mr. Nigeria. I still don't understand his kind of person. I think he's just this laid back kind of person, you know. He, he to me, among, in as much as we have like 20 housemates, I think he's like one of the housemates that actually uh, blended to the background like Prince you need to bring yourself out more so we can see you and Understand the kind of person that you are Got it? Capish? The next house we'll be talking about is the ever beautiful Nengi now. I know a lot of people have uh, A lot of people have this thing for Nengi, right? She's very beautiful. No, no, if we're gonna say the truth She's very beautiful. She she's very coordinated. She knows what she wants and that's like one thing that a guy loves in the lady you understand uh and nengi what i don't like about nengi i like everything about her <laughs> i like everything about her i just like the fact that she's always taunting also and I, that's the part i like like that's one thing i think she should keep doing until <laughs> she leaves the house i think she's even going to leave because i think she has a lot of fans because a, a lot of if you go on twitter right now it's a lot of nengi 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 tweets about big on big brother especially big brother matter all right, the next housemate I'll be talking about will be V. Ah, uh, I like V. O. Like I personally like V, and I like the way she speaks. I I, I like uh, I love her British accent, and I love the way they call her London. London. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So one thing I don't like about V. Ah. Uh, uh, I don't think that there's anything I don't like about V. I like the fact that she's straightforward. Like. I know uh, she and Neo, they're actually having a problem right now, but I I pray and I hope that they, they solve this issue because I really like their relationship. If I'm joining the shippers and the faves, <laughs> I'm going to choose uh, Nino, uh, Neo rather and V. So that's for V. So let's just dive into Neo since we just finished talking about V. Now Neo, funny enough, right, I went for Big Brother Audition last year in Worry. And that was where I met Neo. Uh, I remember there was uh, rain was like falling or it was sunny or something like that. And then he asked me to come under his umbrella. And I didn't even know that it was Neo that is on TV. Like I didn't really know that his name was Neo, right? We didn't really like have a deep conversation, right? Uh, until someone posted a picture of him last year at the auditions. And I saw that. I remember the suit. I remember he wore his suit last year for the Big Brother audition. I remember the suit he wore. And <laughs> I was like, oh, so this is this guy. Because I remember him saying that no matter what, he's going to enter Big Brother house. And by God's grace, he has entered Big Brother's house. So, Neo, thumbs up for you. I like you. I like you. I, like you. I, like you. I know right from that day, we, we, we had that conversation. 
you know, we talked and everything. So I think I like, I, I dig me, I dig, I dig, I dig. I dig. <laughs> the next housemate I'll be talking about would be Tolani Baj. Now, I don't like Tolani Baj's vibe. Not because I don't like her person, but I don't like the vibe she's bringing to the house. She's just this laid back, and she keeps telling Big Brother and Ibuka that she's not ready to show herself. Like, my dear, when do you want to show yourself, Talani? You got no time. You can be evicted anytime, you know? This is a game. You have to take it as a game. You have to appreciate every single day you spend in Big Brother's house. That's for Talani. I don't like her. I don't, I don't like her vibe. But it's not that I don't like her. Don't get me wrong. I like her, but I don't like her vibe. Uh, so the next housemate we'll be talking about is uh, Praise. Now, when uh, Praise first came into the house, I liked his bad boy attitude. You know, he has the hair done, he has his piercings, I love his earrings dropping, you know. But as time went on in the house, I don't understand, oh, Prince. I'll be praised rather you have to get yourself out of some some situations you don't have to be in all situations all the time you understand you know i get it that you're this very jovial type i get it that you 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 like to like be involved you know and associate yourself with people but ah, there's some things you just don't talk about you understand just be on your own chill vibes you know we already love you so don't make it complicated and hard for us <laughs> I'll be talking about is Tricky T. Ah, uh, Tricky T. Ah, I think it's Tricky T is everybody's guy, like someone that everybody can vibe with, except Katrina. I think Katrina does not like him, or he does not like Katrina. I don't even know what they're doing. <laughs> but besides that, I think Tricky T. Tricky T is just there, it's just okay. So let's head right into Katrina's case. Now, Katrina, I know she calls herself a boss lady, but I think Katrina is just this very complicated person but but there's a but to it uh, if you get she's the type of person that if you get to know her you'll get to like her but if you are looking at her from a distance you would criticize and categorize her kind of person because it's just crazy that she she just wants to be heard what i think katrina is a lady that just wants to be heard do you understand and wants to be seen i don't want to say she's desperate she's not desperate but she just wants to be heard uh, okay, the next housemate we'll be talking about will be none other than <laughs> my ever, one of my favorites, ever favorites, the one and the only Lacon. Now, the first time Lacon came into the house, I was like, hey, who is this one saying that is wearing lights the entire time? <laughs> but as time went on, we actually saw that Lacon has uh, something to offer. He has uh, wisdom. Like they call him Aristotle. <laughs> he is, a, of course, he's a philosophy student, but he has wisdom up here. He's small in stature, but he has wisdom up here. He knows how to sing. He knows how to rap. Like uh -uh. even the girls now in the house too, they're not vibing with him. Like oh, we are feeling the vibe of this guy. Even the guy himself. Like everybody has something good to say about Lacon, and that's one thing I love about Lacon. If you ask me who I want to win, I'll say Lacon just because. I feel like he he knows what he's doing. I know that everybody needs the money here, yeah, but I feel like Lecon, I don't know. My money's on him. That's what I'm trying to say, though. <laughs> All right, the next person I'm going to be talking about is Erica. And I, after that, I will just jump into Kidwire. And I, I know why I'm bringing Erica and Kidwire together because uh, their own love, I don't understand. Now, Erica is this very funny, jovial you know person i love her smile i love her face she's very beautiful she's very uh pretty you know uh and she 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 knows what she wants she's another housemate that actually knows what she wants the same thing with kidwire now the kid, kidwire do you know why I'm, I'm, I'm laughing about kidwire is kidwire came into the house hmm? kidwire nobody knew kidwire right and kidwire felt sick and to me i feel like when he recovered from that sickness that was when his, uh, uh, how would I put it? His attitude now started showing. Like this, uh, jump, this conny, 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 boy, boyish attitude. And that's one thing I actually like about him. If that's the strategy, it's working for him because everybody wants to see Kidwire right now because Kidwire is like the hot cake. I feel like Kidwire is taking over. You know, it was also at first, but I think Kidwire is taking over right now. So that's what's up. So the next person I'm going to be talking about is Katr 
no, I'm thinking I'm speaking about Katrina. I'll be talking about Kaisha. Yes, Kaisha. Now, Kaisha, that one, I don't know what she's doing. Okay, let me not say I don't know what she's doing in Big Brother's house. So it's not be like, it's Big Brother's house, not my house. But I don't, I don't know what she's bringing to the table right now. But maybe she wants to show us later, like, <laughs> and I hope you have time to know because Kaisha, I really don't know, you know, what you're doing in the house yet. So please, we need to know, you need to show us so we can be able to follow you up, you know, and enjoy your vibe too. Alright, the next person I'll be talking about will be Lilo. Lilo! Ah, very complicated girl. I'm very confused. Lilo is very confused. What I mean confused? I think she said something about having a relationship outside the house. And then she's flirting with Eric. And then she's complaining to Big Brother that she doesn't want to, she wants to slow things down with Eric. And I'm like, how now? Girl, what do you want exactly? I don't like I'm trying to understand you. Yeah, you're, you're very confused and trust me confusion will not help you in the house I go to train people that voters would literally want you to leave the house because they feel like uh, They don't like understand what's happening with you in the house. Do you understand? All right, so the next house I'll be talking about is definitely Eric. I think I've not spoken about Eric now Eric is this very macho guy He's my kind of guy <laughs> So come on. No, no, no I'm not, I'm not, I'm not jealous him. I'm not jealous in Lilo. She can have him, but he's We do keep quiet. Uh, he's this very laid back guy, you know, just there to have fun and just flow with the vibes, you know. That's what I think he's doing there anyway. Then the next housemate will be Watoni. Watoni, I watch a video about Watoni's uh, child, like pregnancy and everything very complicated video but i think i understand uh her explaining the whole thing in the video i will not play the video there's no time i'll not play the video let's talk about big brother and watoni so um watoni is this i don't know she's another housemaid i feel like just <laughs> blended with the background you know you don't really see her that much she's just there you don't you, you don't really hear anything about her or anything you know she's just there and i don't i don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing but if you ask me i think it's a bad thing though but you just have to me i don't know any other person know me I, anywhere where i go i'd like to show myself oh. like you guys know say Kali they around. I don't know. I don't know, how, I don't know how people can just stay and just blend in the background. I don't know how to blend in the background. I like to stand out. So uh, I think one month for this another month poison in this case. The final housemate I'll be talking about will be Tochi. Tochi is another housemate too that has blended in the background. Like you only see him maybe when they're having tax, but you don't necessarily see him having a conversation with somebody. I'm not saying that he doesn't have conversations with people though, but I'm just saying that he, he doesn't really like you know he's not really like popping as other housemates in the big brother house so the final housemate i'll be talking about right now is the one and only bright o <laughs> now anytime i see bright o i just have this picture of uh one pastor like that <laughs> and i think I, i'm not the only one because twitter i think they basically called him the pastor of Big Brother season five and um, right. Oh yes, it's just one of this housemaid. Like I said, that is just in the background. The only thing is that Sweet has made it their duty to make sure that Bright O is not in the background. <laughs> I actually like the fact that it's cool, but when it comes to the party time, no, Bright O is like you just see this one person like you're like, ah, is this Bright O? Are you serious? <laughs> but it's all good, Shy. I think I like his vibe. You know, I don't really know the kind of person he is, but he's cool. He's cool. So. Okay guys, we've come to the end of the show. That's it for now. I said this video was not going to be long. I think I lied. You what? <laughs> because I had a lot of things to say, but I couldn't say that because I was time conscious. But at the same time, the video is still long. So I don't know how to do about it. I think I'll just, I just have to post it like that. But guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to drop your comments. You know, tell us who your best housemate is and what you think about the housemates of the Big Brother Ninja season 5. I am your homegirl Kali and don't forget to love yourself, be safe and don't forget coronavirus is still outside. So be safe and God bless you. Bye. Till next week. <laughs> Alright guys, I love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah.